Well, it's funny because it was never my intention to race. And I just remember, you know, sitting up on the rail, like, I have no idea what I'm doing on this boat. I don't know what's going on. I'm freezing cold. I was soaked to the bone. And I was like, man, this is fun. <laughs> I want to do it again. It's this feeling of intense joy. You can hear the water rushing across the hull. You can feel the wind in your hair, and there's such an incredible feeling of freedom. It's almost like when you see this sparkling sunshine on the waves, it's like that sparkling feeling is inside you. There is an element of pain to it, and there's nothing that's more amazing to make you feel like you're in your own body and you're having this amazing life experience than to make it a little bit dangerous. The very first time we show, showed up to the race course, there was a boat that actually sailed by us and said, oh my God, it's all ladies, like with a tone of disdain. For all of the women on the boat, I think it really just resonated strongly. Like, wow, we need to be here. We need to have an all-female program. With the Galzillas, I wanted to create a program where people were not forced into just one position. The goal was, let's show up to every single polar bear race, no matter what the conditions are, no matter how we feel about them. Let's do our best. Let's promote and an attitude of respect on the boat. Let's promote a learning environment where we're not afraid to try new things because we might not win. Yeah, I think women just generally kind of defer to the men on the boat for the decisions and we kind of are uh, background supporting. But I think what this has shown is that the women have the ability um, to actually do well and to get on the race course, to manage the issues that are going on, and to actually compete and be head to head. There's a little bit more maybe trust, I think, for men to do certain roles on the boat. But I just find that if you don't ever get the opportunity to do it, then you're never gonna be confident at it. Just in the last race, I was able to do crew boss, which is something that you know I wasn't really that confident at doing before. That's a role that I probably would not have been able to take on, especially during a race. I actually felt pretty good about it, and you know, I wanted to, to do it better the next time, and I wanted to learn more. Great start, good start, guys. Great driving, great tactics. I'd also like more women to own the boat. I think that's also the biggest deterrent, is that we don't have enough female owners. And that can be equated to the professional glass ceiling, the monetary equal pay glass ceiling. This sport highlights that discrepancy. As a woman and as a small woman physically, I faced so much adversity in terms of trying to do those positions myself and being told over and over again, like, no, you're not strong enough because you're not a man. You're not a huge woman. And I'm so tired of being told no. I don't want anyone else to feel like they get told no because of how they look. And this is not exclusive to sailing. This has been my whole life. I just feel like my whole life people have told me, no, you can't do this. And I just don't want that to happen to other people. It should be your choice. I started off racing with my husband on our boat and I was getting used to what that was like. I got kind of frustrated with my ability not to be able to take on the new positions on our own boat. So, and realizing, you know, I just need to go off on the other boats to get those opportunities, which is kind of sad. But <laughs> it was a struggle for my husband too, because I was like, I, I need this opportunity, but he, and he wanted to be supportive, but it just wasn't working because we've got our own crew dynamics. So there were a couple races that I'd helmed those ones before Godzilla, and then the beginning of the season, the first two, three races, I helmed that. I won one of those races in second and won them. It felt really great, amazing, to be showing what we knew that we could do and actually proving on the race course. 
Nobody could understand how thrilled I was. So it's just, it was amazing. Next year when we do go on Galzilla again, or if we go on other boats, we're an even better sailor, and we're stronger sailors and more confident sailors. And wouldn't it be wonderful if one day, in sailing, it was 50% women and 50% men, and it wasn't weird to have a female skipper. And it wouldn't be weird to go on a boat and see females doing the roles that require the most tactical knowledge, that require the most mental and emotional and physical strength. And wouldn't it be great if we transformed sailing?